here is Julie aka Indigo Handmade Design. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to crochet the I'm watching you uh, Halloween decor. For this project you're going to need basically any kind of yarn you have in your stash. I've used 100% um, acrylic yarn, category 3, a 3.5 millimeter hog. Yeah, I'm going to leave you um, the material list in the description box down below this um, tutorial. So don't forget to check this out. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video. If you want to see more free tutorials, in the future i would appreciate and in the meanwhile i wish you all a happy crocheting and till next time bye bye okay so for this uh, halloween decor so which is a um, eyeball plant you are going to need to create the eyes you are going to need three main colors so this three uh, here so white uh, black and red these two of them are acrylic um, category 3 yarn and this one it's a little bit thinner it's a category 2 cotton yarn and um, to make the iris you are going to need a lot of different colors so this is how it's going to look like and we are going to work with a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. You are going to need a yarn needle to um, create these blood veins. And then we are also going to need some sturdy wire for the flower stalk and uh, for this you are going to need green uh, what else a round nose pliers to kind of bend the ends of the hard wire you are also going to need a pair of scissors some stuffing i'm also using uh, leftover yarns that I've made them quite small and you are going to need a flower pot and for the flower pot you are also going to need uh, actually three colors these three here Okay, so let me clear this off and let's get started. Oh, by the way, you are also going to need some uh, glue or a hot glue gun to kind of um, uh, glue the eyes onto your flower stock like so. Okay, so let me clear this off and get started. So to make the eyeballs, this is how they are going to look uh, you are going to need your three main colors so red for the blood veins uh, black for the pupil um, white for the eyeball and also you are going to need um, color for the iris we are going to start with the pupil so go ahead and take your black yarn your 3.5 millimeter hook and make a magic ring pull up a loop like so and chain one to secure your work for round one you are going to make six single crochets inside of your magic ring so one two Three, four, five, and six. Now close your magic ring and take 
the color that you are going to use for your iris to close this round. Take now the color that you are going to use for your iris, make a slip knot and we are going to close this first round with our new color. So go in your very first stitch and pull your loop through by making a slip stitch. Okay, now at this point you can cut your black yarn Now we are going to make a increase round. So for round two, you are going to chain one. This doesn't count as a stitch. Now in the same stitch right here, you are going to make two single crochets. We are going to increase in each stitch around. So in each single crochet from the previous round, you are going to make two single crochets. At the end of your second round, you are going to have a total of 12 single crochets. To close your second round, you are going to slip stitch to your very first stitch, like so. And for round three, chain one to step up. We are going to make one single crochet, one increase, one single crochet, one increase. So this is going to be our pattern repeat for round three. One single crochet, increase in the next. One single crochet in the next. And then again, one increase in the next. At the end of your third round, you are going to have a total of 18 single crochet and we are also going to change color. Close your third round, you are going to take your white color and then make a slip knot and slip stitch to your very first stitch with your new color. At this point, you can cut off your iris color. Now chain one. For round four, we are going to do one last increase round. We are going to single crochet two and then one increase. So one single crochet in your next two stitches and then one increase and repeat one single crochet in your next two one increase in the next and this is going to be your repeat till the end of the round at the end of your fourth round you are going to have a total of 24 single crochets Close the round by slip stitching to your first stitch. Okay, now turn your work and go ahead and tie a few knots. Just to make sure that your work is not going to come undone. You can leave these tails in and use as stuffing. Now turn your work again, chain one, and now from round five to round eight, we are going to single crochet over our 24 single crochets. So we are just going to make one single crochet in each single crochet around. 
So you are going to do this for a total of four rounds from round five to round eight. For round nine, we are going to start decreasing. So you are going to chain one and then make one single crochet in your first two stitches. And now we are going to decrease two stitches. We are going to make a invisible decrease. And for this, you are going to take only the front loop of your stitch one and then go to the next also take only the front loop then you are going to yarn over pull up a loop and pull through you have now two loops on your hook yarn over and pull through two now you are going to single crochet two stitches one and two and then again, you are going to decrease. So you are going to single crochet two together, the invisible decrease. So only the front loop of your next two stitches, yarn over and pull up a loop and pull through. Two loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through two. And then again, one single crochet in your next two, and one decrease. Work like this till the end of the round. At the end of round nine, you are going to have a total of 18 single crochets. At the end of the round, you are just going to slip stitch to your very first stitch and then chain one to start round 10. Now we are going to make one single crochet, one decrease, one single crochet, one decrease. So single crochet in the same stitch and make one invisible decrease in your next two stitches. So the front loop of your next two stitches, pull up a loop and pull through, pull up a loop and pull through. And then again, repeat one single crochet and one decrease. Repeat till the end of the round. At the end of round 10, you are going to have a total of 12 single crochets. At the end of the round 10, you are going to slip stitch to your very first stitch, chain one, and then you are going to cut your yarn, pull through. Now, Take your stuffing and stuff firmly. Okay, for the last round, so which is round 11, we are going to decrease each stitch around to have again a total of six stitches. So for this, you are going to take your red color. So this yarn here, this is cotton yarn and it is thinner. make a slip knot and join to one of your stitches and now chain one and we are going to single crochet two together all the way around so i have one two three, four, five, and six. Now we are just going to slip stitch to the first stitch. So this one here. Chain one. And now leave a long tail. You are going to use this for the blood veins. Now pull through. 
give a little nice pull hide in this uh, loose end you can put some more stuffing in there if you need to like so now go ahead and thread your yarn needle with your leftover red and now we want to close this gap right here so we are going to go into the front loop of each of our stitches So this is four, five and six and now give a nice pull like so and now we are ready to stitch our uh, blood veins so for this I'm going to go with my needle right here like so And now I'm just going to stitch all the way around. I'm not going to follow any pattern. So I'm going to go up here like so. okay so this is how you are going to stitch your eyeball all the way around and then once you have this done you are just going to tie a few knots right here and um, hide in your loose end okay now go ahead and make as many uh, eyes as you want and then i'll meet you back again to show you how to make the steam and how to attach and also how to create your pot okay so to attach the eyes onto your st stock like so you are going to need your wire and then you are going to need your round nose pliers and we are going to make a loop so hold your wire like so and then bend the end inwards to create a loop This is what you have now. And now take again your plier and we are going to bend this loop like so. So this is how it's going to look like. Now we are going to crochet around our wire. So for this, you are going to take your green color leave a longer tail so at the beginning i told you you can use um, a hot glue gun to glue the eyes onto the uh, wire but i'm going to sew the eyes in the end so i'm going to leave a longer tail so forget about the, uh, the glue you can use this if you want to 
leave a longer tail for the sewing and then make a slip knot like so and then you are going to chain three and then go back in your first chain and make three single crochets like so now take your wire and first attach the yarn to the wire with one chain like so and now we are going to single crochet around the wire um, so for my length I've made 45 single crochets so this one is going to be placed in the in the pot so uh, you can leave this open now if you have a longer wire you need to adjust the single crochet count so at the beginning it's a little bit uh, a pain to single crochet so i have one oh i wasn't in camera two see I'm going under the wire, I'm um, yarning over or under, and again, three, under the wire, pull up a loop, two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, four, five, six, Seven. So I'm going to make my remaining single crochets of camera. 45 single crochets. Now you are going to chain one, cut your yarn. And give it a really nice pull. And now we are going to sew the eye on top. Of your wire so for this take your yarn needle and thread thread it with your um, with your tail and now bring these three single crochets that we've made at the beginning on in one chain we are going to cover this loop right here so first go ahead and um, cover this loop so try sewing all the way around your loop Just like so and now take the eye and place it on top so once it's placed on top you are going to uh, try sewing around like around the cover that you've made Make sure that it's secure right here. And now we are going to tie a knot. Like so. And then go down the, the stock 
and weave your loose end in just like so and cut your yarn now this one here you don't need to cut this down because um, it's going to be in the pot and now you can bend this wire the way you like okay now lo let me show you how to crochet the part okay now to create the part you are going to take uh, whatever color you prefer. I'm going to take this um, orange right here and make a magic ring. Pull up a loop, chain one to secure, and we are first going to create the bottom of the part. So I have this part right here as a reference on how big I want to be my finished piece um, so this is how big is going to be the bottom of the pot so inside of the magic ring we are going to make six single crochets this is your first round four five and six and we are going to crochet in the round so slip stitch to your very first stitch like so chain one to step up it doesn't count as a stitch and for round two we are going to increase all of our stitches so two single crochets in each stitch Just like that. At the end of the second round, you are going to have a total of 12 single crochets. And every time you are uh, finishing your round, you are going to slip stitch to your first chain uh, stitch, to your first stitch, excuse me, like so. And then chain one to step up for the next round. Round three, you are going to make one single crochet in your very first stitch and one increase in the next and this is going to be your repeat all the way around one single crochet one increase at the end of the round three you are going to have a total of 18 single crochets round four <coughs> two single crochets and one increase this is going to be your pattern repeat all the way around so I have one and two single crochets and one increase in the next and again one single crochet in the next two stitches and one increase in your third at the end of your round you are going to have a total of 24 single crochets round five you are going to make one single crochet in your next three stitches so one two and three and then one increase and this is going to be your pattern repeat all the way around so you are going to have three single crochets and one increase and then this is how you are going to increase to create this um, circle this round to create the bottom of of your pot and then I'm going to work off camera until I have my final measurement and then I'll meet you back again to show you how to uh, finish okay so I've made my rounds I have 
10 single crochets and then one increase then single crochet one increase <clears throat> now i am done increasing i've already joined my round i chained one now we are going to work uh, also in the round we are not going to increase anymore um, and we are going to turn our work each time we um, end the round first we are going to make one round of back post single crochets and for this you are going to go from the behind of your work like so around the post of the single crochet from your previous round and you are going to pull up a loop like so you have now two loops on your hook yarn over and pull through two and again you are going to go can you see this gap right here in the same gap like so with your hook from the behind around the post yarn over and pull through yarn over and pull through two and again around your post yarn over pull through yarn over pull through you have now three back post single crochets and again around the post yarn over pull through two one more time okay so work like this all the way around um, at the end of the round by the way i have a total of 72 single crochets you are going to slip stitch to your first stitch chain one and turn and now we are going to work um, single crochets all the way around one single crochet in each stitch okay at the end of the round you are going to slip stitch to your first stitch chain one and turn so this is your first single crochet round so this one right uh, here down here the back post single crochets round i didn't count and so i'm going to count from here and um, this is how you are going to work for a total of 10 single crochet rounds so this is your first one and to start your next one you are just going to single crochet in your first stitch like so and then single crochet all the way around okay so i'm going to finish my 10 rounds of camera okay i'm now at the end of my 10th round now go ahead and slip stitch to your first stitch um, chain one and turn and now we are going to make one single crochet in each single crochet from the previous row until you uh, we have five stitches left okay so i'm now at the end of the round so i have five stitches left now you are going to chain one and turn your work and then again work one single crochet in each single crochet from the previous round uh, and this one right here is going to be the hole for the nose so we are now creating the nose okay now at the end of this row you are going to chain one and turn and in this very first stitch we are going to increase so make two single crochets in there and then one single crochet in each single crochet from the previous row and then once you have uh, one stitch left you are also going to make one increase in there okay so one stitch left in there one increase now you are going to chain one and turn and the next um, row we are also going to start with a increase and then again and 
with an increase so one increase in your first stitch and one increase in your last stitch okay so I've made my increase in the very last stitch now we had we've skipped here um, five stitches and we've increased only four now uh, to have the same amount of stitches we are now going to chain one slip stitch to your very first stitch this one here like so and then again chain one turn and now we are going to make one single crochet in the chain and then one single crochet in each single crochet from the previous row so you do want to make sure that you have the same uh, amount of stitches i meet you back at the end of the round okay now to make it clear i am now at the end of the round and i'm going to slip stitch right here <coughs> to my first stitch now you are going to count from here four stitches back so one two three four and in your fifth one you are going to place a stitch marker and from here you are going to count one two and three stitches and in the fourth one you are going to put a stitch marker and now you are going to chain one cut your yarn give a little nice pull to secure your work and now we are going to turn our work okay so now once you turned your work you are going to make a slip knot and then we are going to join right here so here is your stitch marker the next stitch with a single crochet now go ahead and make six more single crochets two three four five six so for this uh, first row you are going to have seven single crochets now chain one and we are going to start with a decrease so single crochet two together like so now make one single crochet in your next three stitches and then again you are going to single crochet two together so one decrease you have now five uh, five stitches okay now you are going to chain one and turn and again start with one decrease so single crochet two together one single crochet in the next stitch and again one decrease you have now three stitches now we are going to make three rows of single crochet no decreasing no increasing so we are going to work over our three stitches so i have one two and three rows of single crochet now we are going to make another row of single crochet but we are going to increase so chain one turn your work increase in your very first stitch single crochet in the next and increase in your last 
you have now five stitches now we are going to chain one and cut the yarn and pull through now we we are creating the eye holes okay and now you are going to make a slip knot and we are going to join down here we are going to skip three stitches so this one where your stitch marker is is your first stitch so one two three go ahead and join with a single crochet in the next one so in your fourth stitch now we are going to make one single crochet in each single crochet from the previous round till we have three stitches left okay so i'm at the end of the row i have three stitches left now go ahead chain one turn your work and start with one decrease and then make one single crochet in each single crochet from the previous row and then once you're at the end of the row you are also going to decrease your last two stitches okay so two stitches left make one decrease now chain one turn your work and we are going to start again with one decrease and then make one single crochet in each single crochet and at the end of the row you are also going to decrease your last two stitches okay so i've ended with one decrease now we are going to chain one turn the work and make one single crochet in each single crochet from the previous row and we are going to make two rows uh, of single crocheting no increases no decreases so i'll meet you back once i have my two rows done two rows of single crochet done now you're going to chain one turn your work and we are going to start with one increase and then also end our row with one increase so two single crochets in your very first stitch then one single crochet in each of your single crochet from the previous uh, row and then in your last stitch you are also going to make one increase so at the end of the row increase next row you are going to chain one turn your work one increase in your very first stitch increase one single crochet in each single crochet from the previous row till you have one stitch left and in your last stitch you are also going to make one increase okay at the end of the round of the row you are going to chain one turn your work and now we are going to make one single crochet in each single crochet from the previous row just like so and then i'll meet you back here okay so at the end of this um row right here i have a total of 59 single crochets now to end this row we are going to chain four and four and then go here in the middle so right here you had five stitches remember in there you are going to single crochet your five stitches so you have one two three four and five single crochets now you are going to chain again four three and four and then slip stitch to your very first stitch right here like so and now you are going to chain one and turn this is how it's going to look like now go ahead and make four single crochets around your chain so 
one, two, three, and four. Your five single crochets right here in the middle. One, two, three, four, and five. And again, four single crochets around your chain. One, two, three, and four. And now from now on, we'll work one single crochet in each single crochet from the previous row. And this is how it looks like. Now I'm going to um, finish this off camera. So once you're at the end of the row, you are going to slip stitch to your first stitch, chain one and turn, and then you are going to work. Um, I'm not counting this row right here. So after this row, you are going to make another 10 rounds of single crochet, and then I'll meet you back once I have this done. Okay, so I've made my 10 rows of single crochet, so round. Now for the very, very last round, we are going to do the crab stitch, but we are going to insert our hook one round down below. So in these small little gaps. So for this, we are going to work um, towards the um, right um, towards your right hand so like so go one row down below pull up a loop two loops on your hook yarn over pull through two and again you are going to go towards your uh, right hand so backwards one row down below in the next gap, pull up a loop, pull through, yarn over and pull through two. Again, in the next gap, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. And this is how you are going to work all around the opening. Once you're at the end of the round, you are going to chain one, cut your yarn, and you are going to leave a very long tail so that we can sew the brain around the opening. So at the end of the round, you are just going to turn your work and slip stitch to the next stitch, chain one and leave a long tail, a very long tail. And now you are going to pull through. Okay, now it's time to create with black yarn the nose and the eyes to cover from the behind to cover these holes okay for the nose you are going to chain seven as uh, chain eight excuse me one two three four five six seven eight and now go in the second chain from the hook in the back bump of your chain make a single crochet and then one single crochet in each bank back bump of the chain till the end so at the end of this first row you are going to have a total of seven single crochets Now 
now you are going to chain one and turn one single crochet in each single crochet again you are going to have for the second row a total of seven single crochets so here i have five six and seven now chain one turn your work make one decrease one single crochet in your next three stitches in the next um, yeah three stitches and then one decrease At the end of your third round you are going to have a total of five single crochets now go ahead chain one and turn one decrease one single crochet in the next and one decrease you have now three single crochets now you are going to chain one and turn and work two rows with your three single crochets so i have one chain one and turn and i have two now you are going to chain one and cut your yarn Now we are going to place this black nose inside of your work like so. Maybe you want to take some pins okay so take some pins and just uh, secure your work So this is how it's going to look like. Uh, now you can either take your yarn needle and sew all the way around or you can um, crochet these two together. So for this make a slip knot and go with, uh, inside of your work with your hook you are going to go through both uh, both of your panels and you are going to pull this slip knot right here through your work we are going to make the surface slip stitch now this is my working yarn right here now i'm going to go up with the hook and pull up a loop see and 
pull your loop through and then through your loop like so and again I'm going to go up here through the orange and through the black one yarn over and pull up a loop and pull through now up here yarn over pull up a loop pull through see so if you find this difficult you can easily uh, do this with your yarn needle just sew all the way around okay so to make the eye coverage i'm not going to show you how to do this since uh, there are only single crochet rows so i've chained a total of 10 to have um a total of nine single crochets so i've worked uh, nine single crochets over a total of nine rows and then you are also going to place this on the inside of your work like so and then put your pins on and you can either do this uh, do the sewing with your yarn needle or you can work all the way around uh, by making the surface slip stitch okay so i've decided that i'm not going to use the pot to put this inside i'm going to use a old cd i'm going to put some polyfill inside and then i'm going to use this foam i've cut the same measurement out as my um, coverage as the cd and then i'm going to stuck this inside like so and now i'm also going to put some more polyfill on top like this and um, now we are going to make the brain it's going to be sewn all the way around and once we have this done we are going to stack our um, eyeballs like inside like so okay so to make the brain i'm going to use this color here i'll go ahead and make a magic ring pull up a loop chain three this is going to be your first double crochet and inside of your magic ring make another 11 double crochets at the end of your first round you are going to have a total of 12 double crochets Go ahead and close your magic ring and go to your third chain and slip stitch. Now we are going to make one increase round. We are going to increase in each stitch. So first chain three, this is going to be your first double crochet and in the same stitch make another double crochet. So we are going to increase in each in each stitch and we are going to work in the back loop so work only in the back loop at the end of your second round you are going to have a total of 24 double crochets once you're at the end of the round you are going to slip stitch to your third chain to close your second round round three you are going to chain three your first double crochet 
now we are going to make one double crochet one increase in the back loop only so you already have your first double crochet now in the next stitch in the back loop only make one increase one double crochet one increase and this is going to be your repeat all the way around once you're at the end of the round you are going to slip stitch to your third chain okay now for the last round we are going to chain three first double crochet make one double crochet in your next two stitches and then one increase in the next and this is going to be your repeat uh, you are going to have three double crochets one increase Okay, so repeat till the end of the round. At the end of the round, you are going to slip stitch to your third chain. Now we are going to attach our yarn right here to this very first round. So make a slip knot and pull your slip knot through your front loop. From now on, we are going to work only into the front loops. Now you are going to chain three this counts as your first double crochet and in the same stitch you are going to make two more double crochets so one and two and then go to your next front loop and make three double crochets one two and three like so Now I'm going to go to my next front loop and make three more double crochets. Now I'm going to jump to the next uh, round in the front loop and I'm going to jump right here. and make three double crochets and then I'm going to go to the next front loop and make three double crochets and then again to the next and make three double crochets so I'm not working all the way around now I'm going to go up here and make three double crochets like so and then work again the next two front loops one two and three double crochets and right here one two and three so this is how i'm going to work now i'm going to go down here and we'll work um two front loops and then down here so I'm going to kind of work in zigzag to fill this uh, panel with my double crochets okay we are now almost done so here is the brain now I'm going to take my um, head <laughs> it's kind of a head a, a flower pot head and I'm going to take the yarn needle and thread it with my long tail, so the piece of tail from here. 
Now I'm going to place the brain like so on top and I'm going to go with my needle uh, two rows down See, right here now I'm going to sew the brain around all the way around just like so see from here and then I'm going to pick up this stitch right here and then go up and now down right here and up okay now i'm going to do this off camera and then meet you back again okay so this is it this is how it's going to look like this is the brain and this is the um, flower part now you are going to take your eyes and just kind of <clears throat> push them down into the head like so so i'm going to do this step of camera and then um yep yeah, hide in your this uh, loose ends you can pull them down with your uh, crochet hook and your halloween decor it's finished.